gotten a lot of um, just the bedding that she sleeps in and other things stuck in there and what it's doing is this blue he wants to be a friend too today is it's causing all of this and um, bacteria to be packed up right next to uh, where she's trying to heal from having given birth what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna wear surgical gloves today I just don't want to introduce any other bacteria into the area what I'm doing now is just soaking um, an old used washcloth here uh, with the lavender oil, hot water, and soap. And I'm just going to gently lift your tail and hold it like this for a couple of minutes. Let it warm up the area and soften it. We've given her some of her favorite green at the back. So after we do this, then we will proceed to try to clip some of this out. Now I'm just going to pour some of this warm fluid up over her tail again. I don't expect her to like this, unfortunately, but she'll feel much better when it's done, just to try to soften that as much as possible. I'm just going to keep talking to her and stroking her and letting her know that this is okay. Unfortunately, it is uncomfortable, but something that needs to be done. And we've already had some of the pieces fall off, so we're making progress. It'd be nice if it all went that way for us. Hopefully we're getting another piece here. Here, good girl, Rainy. Good girl. Good girl, let's get all that nasty off, huh? It'll make you feel better. Good girl, honey. Good girl. Rainy's such a good girl. going to try to very slowly clip this out. We want to be really careful not to cut her skin, but also it is extremely cold. We have a high of zero here today. So we want to leave her with as much as we can that's out of the way and not going to cause her an issue. So she's not cold. She's kind of fighting. So again, I'm just gently securing her between both of my arms and then my side and my knee. Another big piece. You're okay, honey. You're all right. I understand. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, kind of Rainy. Big piece of it too. Yeah. Get as much out as we can to start with before we do any fine trimming. So we can see. You can tell she's distressed. You can see that she's shaking. I hate doing this, but there's no other good way to take care of her at this point. You're all right, honey. Shh, 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 shh. Good girl, Rainy. Good, Rainy. Okay, we'll soak that some more. Good girl, Rainy. Rainy's a good girl. Good girl. Got some sizable pieces back here again. You can hear her little roommate in the background, Blue, calling to her. He's nerve attention when something like this needs to be done. Starting to relax, yeah. Realize that it's okay that we're not gonna hurt anymore. And 
unfortunately, what she already does. <laughs> Some of this that can just be brushed out. I'm probably going to trim it up just a little bit. You can see the number of her tail there, so we have plenty of room. Leave her with some protection there from the cold. Just try to get as much of that out of the way as we can. So this has become a recurring problem for her. Alrighty, relax. And what's good is you can see now, you probably couldn't see clearly before, she had a blockage here. Um, that was filled with just the bacteria and like the sort of things that we're cutting out and that's let go just in the process of soaking. Fortunately she is shaking and trembling because she's nervous but we're starting to look a whole lot better back here. Relax honey, relax. Away, check to see if she's got any skin lesion or irritation under that. Just to right, make sure that we're addressing everything while we're here. Have her upset. She's actually being a very good girl. She hasn't tried to kick yet. Just escape a little bit. No, rainy. You spoke too soon. <laughs> she's doing all right. I wouldn't like this either. Well, it looks pretty clean. So the last thing that we're going to do before we tell her how wonderful she is, is I'm actually going to use a Preparation H wipe because this has a strong witch hazel in it. It even says with witch hazel. And fortunately don't have any raw witch hazel that I could use to make these. So this is going to have to work. This will help take down any swelling, any irritation, and get rid of some of the bacteria that might still be around in that area. As you can see, we're pulling some last nastiness away and hopefully if we keep washing this area with the witch hazel wipes we'll see this have cleared up in the next day or two we'll just keep an eye on it until she's done healing from her birth so if you have any questions let us know down below we'd be happy to answer them and thanks for watching <laughs>